And welcome back to The Daily News. Joe Monmir is with us now. He is athletic director for Hilton Head High School. So I would think you're in summer, you'd just be relaxing, going on vacation, but you actually are working. Yeah, we're working. I mean, I do get a little bit of time off, but right, right now we're uh, full into 7-on-7 football season. Uh, basketball was practicing and playing in camps and, and, and scrimmages. Our volleyball team does a lot of practicing. Actually, Spartina was in our gym for last week right. um, with their sales. So there's a lot right. of things that go on in the summer, a lot of construction, uh, things like that. So you kind of have to keep an eye on what's going on, the facilities, um, things overgrowing, uh, as well as get to preparing for the, the fall, fall, winter, and spring season for next year. And so when it, let's kind of go through the year about what sports are. I always like to know what seasons right. of, the, of the different sports. So, so, yeah. so fall is football, uh, volleyball, and, and we just added boys volleyball, cross country, uh, girls and uh, girls tennis and girls golf, uh, as well as boys and girls swim, cheerleading, uh, and football. So we have a, a pretty um, pretty amount robust. Of, pretty amount of yes. yes. And then come in spring. Come winter, then we have winter. wrestling. Uh, we have basket boys and girls basketball, and then spring we have uh, boys golf, tennis, boys and girls lacrosse, softball, baseball. Um, track uh, in girls and boys soccer. So we have, we have a full slate there as well. And what division are we in? We're in 4A, so we're not, there's five classifications in South Carolina. We're okay. in fourth, so we're, we compete with schools from about 1,000 to about 1,500. Right. And so uh, mentally, as the students are getting ready, the athletes are getting ready for the school year, you know, what, you know, physically, obviously, they need to be working out and all of that. But how do they prepare mentally? And then how do you prepare mentally for, um, the, for the new year? It's just it's hard to go from zero to a thousand miles an hour. But that seems the way education works, where, you know, all of a sudden you're on summer vacation, you're not doing anything. And then all of a sudden, boom, you're in classes for eight hours and things like that. So mentally, you know, a lot of our students work. A lot of our students are working out um, like our tennis players are probably working out with their pros. Our golfers, same thing. Football's been lifting and running, and same with basketball and all of our sports. So, so really, the mental part is really overcoming the heat um, oh, right. from, from, yes. from coming up here. So we have a lot of we have practice in the morning, uh, practice indoors to make sure that um, our, our student athletes and coaches are safe. So talk about your coaches. Do you have a, a full array of coaches coming back? Do you have any new coaches? What's on the um, slate? Everyone's coming back. We, we, uh, one of our, our my cross country coach, he uh, is leaving to go back to Ohio. So we do have a vacancy for head cross country coach, but uh, the two assistants that we've had for many years are, are gonna fill in for that right now. We're hoping that a teacher will come in and, and support. What happens with coaching is sometimes it's good to have someone in the building. Now, whether they're the head coach or their assistant coach, it's just, just access to the facilities, um, access to teachers, access to grades, things like that, that a, that a, that a coach, what we call a lay mm -hmm. coach, which is someone that's not in the building that might uh, do something else during the day but helps coach. Um, you know, it really helps to have someone you know, in the building. Right, and so as athletic director, once school starts, what is your what is your role? Is it operations, logistics, just yeah. making sure everybody's happy? I mean, happy? Support, supporting you know supporting the school. I mean, you know, the first couple of weeks, I, I'm more of an administrator as far as like an assistant principal, where I'm running around trying to make sure everything schedules and make sure everyone's where they are. Cafeteria duty, you know, making sure the teachers know what's going on, the bell schedule, all these different things, but then. You know, I do that during the day, and then in the afternoons, a lot of it is is preparing for football games, volleyball games. Um, you know, anywhere from security to ticketing to parking to you know all the things that go into an event. Um, so some days it's very long. I get there at seven thirty eight, and I don't leave till eleven. And you know, some days I'm uh, there, you know, till till four thirty. So it, it just depends. But it, it's a great job. I love athletics. It's 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 fun to watch um, kids develop and and learn the life lessons that we've talked about before on the show, um, just learning life lessons when it's not so serious. Right, and, and I think you talk with your coaches about it. it's not just about winning. Right, right. It's not just about, I, I believe that winning is a, a byproduct of good coaching, and, and sometimes, you know, just the, 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 deck, the deck could be stacked. Like you could be in, a, like a lot of teams in our region struggle because we're so good in tennis or we're so good in golf or we're so good in certain sports. It's just, it just depends on if I know that that team has done the best they can, or that coach has done the best they can what they have at the end of the season, then that's you know ultimately the the overshadows the the wins and losses. Well, Joe, have a great year. We will. All right, all right, Thank you. and thanks for being with us Thank you. on our daily news, and we'll be right back. Thank you.